Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Que Rica TV. I'm Erica Lasan. If there's one thing that I know about myself is that I'm a visionary. I always see the big picture and I have the awesome vision, but what I typically tend to struggle with is how I'm gonna take the, that big picture and turn it into little tangible efforts that will actually lead to getting the job done. I started watching YouTuber with Wendy. She's this awesome YouTuber that does DIY videos and teaches you how to sew and one of the series that she did was on how to start bullet journaling. Typically I wouldn't spend more than eight dollars on a planner but after doing bullet journaling I realized that my mind works a certain type of way when it comes to writing down goals and actually being able to cross them off my list. Um, so this planner is more in line with the way that my mind works and it costs thirty dollars. I know, I know. You guys are probably thinking what I was thinking. I'm not paying $30 for no planner, but when you read what it says it can do, you may change your mind. It says, by using the Panda Planner, you can increase productivity, get organized, hit your goals, develop better time management skills, Lord knows I could use those, achieve a better work-life balance, feel happier, and live a more fulfilled life. Who doesn't want to do that in the new year? I know I do, so I hit the add to cart button and I purchased it. And so far it's been a really great tool for me getting stuff done and just prioritizing my goals on a daily basis. Um, so in this video I'm going to show you how I use my Panda Planner as well as my old bullet journaling system in order to lead a more productive life, or at least in my efforts to do so. <sighs> this is a really long intro, so let's hop right into it. This is my original bullet journal that I purchased on Amazon. It's an Amazon basics journal. And I decided to get the ones with the squares because it's easier to write on a straight line. Also, when I'm doing little tick marks and things to check off, it made it easy to follow the circles or it made it easier to follow the squares. I wrote down whatever the month was and then some daily tasks that I'd like to accomplish as well as writing out the days of the month in addition to the days of the week that corresponded with them. Then next to the goal, whatever it was and how many days a week I wanted to accomplish it, I would put a circle next to it. When I accomplished the goal, I would check it off. Then I put down how many times I completed the task out of how many times I set out to complete the task. As you can see, my first month bullet journaling was a little rough. I definitely wasn't keeping up with my daily devotions. Look at that, so sad. One and a half times out of 31. Not great. This helped me keep myself a little more accountable and showed me how I was doing in terms of actually hitting certain goals and what I was prioritizing in terms of my daily goals on a daily basis. Social media, which was really sad, got 16 times out of 31 times versus my daily devotions. That let me know that I was paying a lot of attention to completing my social media but not so much attention to the things that were probably more important. Then on the other side of things, I had a general August to-do list, which I would write down all of my tasks for the month, people that I'd like to keep in touch with for the month, video ideas, video ideas for the upcoming month, and then I would go further and break it down by creating a little chart for the videos that I wanted to post. This is when I was doing videos two times a week. I tried that. It didn't work. <laughs> then I would do a weekly breakdown for the month and I would do a to-do list for each week starting from Sunday to Saturday. Referring back to my August to-do. Then comes the most important part which is the daily planning. I would write down the day of the week as well as the month and the day and then I would do a time schedule breakdown so that I could write down what I wanted to do in each time. And I would also do a general to-do to list for the day. I would also put down in my to chat session the people that I wanted to talk with throughout the day. And then in my note section, which I added down here, generally there would be notes, but I decided that I wanted to use that as a devotion section. Each month, I got a little more creative with writing out the month. All right, that's enough of my original bullet journaling method. When I was looking for a planner to purchase, um, I was able to figure out one that worked best with the way that I think when organizing myself. Aria decided to leave a little artwork for me in my planner. I can't leave 
pens and paper around her <clears throat> at all anymore. Or else this happens. <laughs> the good thing about this is that it also comes with a monthly section, like so. A weekly section, like so. And a daily section. Another thing that I found to be really cool was that it comes with these tabs already, so you're able to locate where you're supposed to be each month, each week, and each day with ease. With the monthly breakdown, in this section, everything comes blank, so I really still got to be creative here without having to sacrifice the time to make everything pretty. What I decided to do was to invest in some super cool gel pens that come in a variety of colors in order to prettify my daily planner without having to put in the work of creating it myself. So what I really like about it is that in planning ahead, it helps you figure out what your top goals are for the month as well as what distractions you want to avoid. Then at the end of the month, you also have a review section which tells you, which highlights what the month's wins are as well as what insights were gained. Then you also have a focus section and a habit. I didn't really get this when I first started using the Panda Planner and I had to actually watch their videos online in order to figure out what they meant. But um, the focus is what you wanna focus on on a daily, on an overall monthly basis. And as far as a habit, there are these little check marks, I don't know if you guys can see them, on each of the things, and that's basically whatever habit you wanna develop, and um, you cross it off at the end of the day. So again, for me, the habit that I wanted to develop was devotions and prayer. How I had the little circles with the X's, this is the equivalent to that without having to draw it out. I mean, how awesome, right? I like that a lot. Next up is the weekly section and here you write the date and the date as well as the review of the last week big ones how you'll improve and then planning for the upcoming week things that you'll do to make the week great in your personal work family and friends and relationship lives then what you're looking forward to habits you're focusing on developing learning something new passion projects and then projects that you want to achieve overall. And then at the end of the section, it has top goals for the week. So it really just helps to break down everything that you wanna do in a overall situation for the week. And then when it comes to the daily section and writing out what you wanna achieve on a daily basis, it's really helpful to look back on your weekly goals. <sighs> All right, this brings us to the daily section. In this section, you have the morning review, the things that you're grateful for, the things that you're excited about. You have in the affirmation section, a focus section, exercise. Then over here, you have the priority section, which highlights five top priorities that are non-negotiables each day and have to be done. Then you have the schedule section, similar to what I did when I was doing my bullet journaling. And then a task section, which are follow-up tasks and things that need to be done on a daily basis outside of the main priorities. So these could be errands, little things that you just don't wanna forget and wanna get done in between. And then there's a note section for whatever you wanna do. And lastly, the end of day review, which highlights the day's wins as well as how you'll improve for the next day. I found this to be really helpful because so many times we go about our day doing, 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 and feeling like we're doing a lot. And then at the end of the day, we look back and it's like, well, what have I really done for the day? Um, and what am I proudest of? That goes in this section. So oh, one other thing that I decided that I wanted to do this year was to read the Bible in a year. This one year Bible that I've had since, actually since I graduated from high school, my pastor, from Baltimore gave this to me before I left for college and I literally never opened it. It was still in the plastic. But this year I decided to crack the bad boy open and it's been really cool um, just getting into God's word and realizing certain things. And I think that this is gonna be an awesome tool for keeping me on track each day. It breaks it down by day. And so far it's been really helpful and I've just been learning so much. And in addition to this, I decided to journal as well and write out some of my revelations and things in this really cute journal that I purchased at Marshall's um, along with some new writing utensils. So now instead of my devotions going in my planner, they have their own special home, which has been really nice. 
and so far so good if you like this video please subscribe like and share and leave a comment below letting me know some of your goals for this year as well as how you've been able to stay on track so far until the next time live rich and happy dream chasing bye if you like this video hit that little circle with my face in it to subscribe to the channel thank you